you are still watching ways today's international stand-up to bullying day and it's observed twice a year in february and in november the observations in february are part of the anti-bullying week that aims to create empathy and end bullying and harassment it's observed by schools workplaces and organizations in more than 25 countries Bullying can have a lasting effect on a person's psyche and it is important to recognize instances of bullying and put an end to them immediately. Ah, bullying. I mean, I think I'm very big on this when it comes to children, actually, because you find out that in most primary, secondary, even in university as well, you can see a lot of bullies. They're, they're actually, even us as adults, they're, they're bullies. I was going to say that, that bully, bullying is not just, it doesn't just exist among children. We have bullies as parents. Mm. We have bullies as bosses. Mm. We have bullies as friends, really. I just don't subscribe to bullying because I feel like you're trying to trample on someone's weakness. Mm. You probably know that the person is not strong enough to, you know, fight back. Never. And then you just... Because of that, lord over the person, and ah, really, it's, it's, it doesn't show. It doesn't show character strength if you ask me. At all. It just shows that you are weak. Because truly, if you are strong enough, I feel like maybe a decent conversation could work. But bullying, mm -mm, mm. I don't subscribe to mm. it. Itty. Yeah, um, it's sad that bullying still exists, but unfortunately, it does. Um, and I agree with them. It's, it's across all stages of life, uh, and we having. Most importantly, I think, is for children. It's being able to support children through bullying. Yeah. Um, and even the bullies themselves, as children, um, studies have shown that most times this is driven by feelings of inadequacy, issues in the family, issues at home. Yeah. So being able to recognize that bullying is happening, not tolerating it, and having a proper process or program for being able to manage um, and deal with whatever issues is actually motivating the bully to lash out. Because that's really what it is. It's lashing out when you find yourself in a situation where um, you find that a lot of bullies are actually maybe being bullied at home or being um, being uh, victims of domestic violence and things like that. So it's important to treat it from both sides. Yeah, I'm glad that you even mentioned domestic violence there because in most cases, bullying actually stems and yeah, grows. Um, from, that's where domestic violence, rather, that's where it comes from. Mm -hmm. It comes most times from, from bullying. Mm -hmm. Ua, do you have anything to add to this? Okay, I'm not sure why is this. I'll just go with you, Dami. Um, what did you find for us in the news today? Okay, um... So, the Ocean State Police Command in Oshobo on Friday put out a show of force ahead of the election on Saturday. The Commissioner of Police of, for Election Duty in Ocean State, Peter Abayomi, said that in the deployment of officers was, was to ensure adequate security for the people of the state during election. Well, I mean, yeah, this is actually good, but... Mm. Then again, in Nigeria, as we've had it, you don't when, when there's terrorism, when there's a fight, when there's war or something, you don't see them putting out these um, security agents, mm -hmm. in quotes now, to <laughs> protect the citizens and to fight. But then all of a sudden, because there's an election and then... I mean, I... I, I, I thumbs up to them, honestly. Mm -hmm. I, I support that. But still, I mean, we could do better with that. And not just only when there's an election. That's when these things should come about. So, I mean, but yeah. Mm. Good mm, job so, so I mean, far. the prayer now is that we hope that this actually also cuts across every other kind of event that it is that we have, not just... Not just the election, my point exactly. Yeah, I, yeah. I understand, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, what do you find for us in the news today? Um, okay, so my story is um, also in line with the election. So it's talking about <coughs> the, amount, the total amount of voters cards that have been collected. Mm. So interestingly enough, we have about 87.2 million PVCs collected as Nigeria is going to the polls tomorrow. So that's the headline. Um, and INEC just reiterates that, uh, of course, no PVC, no voting. So if you're going out to the polls tomorrow, um, you have to have your voters card to be able to vote. And um, it gives, the story also gives a breakdown of the different um, numbers of PVCs in the different parts of Nigeria. So comparing... Um, the data to say that Nigeria has a registered voting population of 93,469,008. Um, so those are the voters that are actually registered. But of course, according to that, it means that we have just over 6 million 
voters' cards that have actually not been collected. So I think where, for me, the story stood out, it's important that we sort of have a sense of the numbers so that when we start to see <coughs> the numbers Sorry. coming out tomorrow, it's another way for us to be able to validate the breakdown. So the story does give a breakdown of all um, the number of PVCs collected state by state um, so that we can just see. I know sometimes in the elections it just seems like from nowhere numbers appear in certain states and you're wondering how did that happen. So important for us, you know, data is key. Data is, is, is currency, it's power. So important for us to have this information so that we can... Um, we can monitor what is happening and at least have something to compare for validation. Mm. Thank you, Itzi. Funny enough, there was something I saw just before um, I, I came into the, the studio today, and it was about some news. I'm not sure how true it is, though. Um, how even if, if you had voted, if you had registered for uh, what, your PVC before and you've not collected it, mm -hmm. they were saying there's a, there's a website, an INEC website, you can actually log on to, your details will come up no, and sure you can still take that too. Mm -hmm. I know, right? I saw I that and I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Well, I don't know. I'm, yeah. not sure this is, I'm not sure this is accurate. Mm -hmm. I hope that people don't <laughs> go, don't just go tomorrow with their phones and say, oh, look, I registered. These are my details. Can I vote? I don't think I'm not sure that's going to work. As, right? as a country, I don't think that we're there electronic votes i don't think so i gen i mean it would have made a lot more sense honestly mm. instead of having to go and queue and whatnot mm. but i don't think that no, not even the evil i mean that's even that's even one i was going to come to that as mm -hmm. well but then this one was like okay so even if you've registered for your pvc and you haven't collected your pvc mm. you can just go you know how normally you log on to the web um, inec website put in your details everything will come out that's what you use to collect your pvc right yeah. now they're saying that now if you were not able to go collect your pvc you can still take that information mm. to the polling units and then at the point of accreditation you can still get accredited as a voter that means i can i'm not sure as well and then just go there tomorrow no, and you must have it. registered before that's the thing so you must have registered just that you didn't collect your pvc i don't know how so true I, that I is I, I mean that would be nice because because <laughs> i know a lot of people that were not able to get their pvc because yes, they were out of town honestly, or yes. something like that but i'm not sure how true that is so yeah my story um labor party's logo missing on ondo ballots and this is as reported as Punch newspaper. So it says the Ondo state of the Labour Party has raised the alarm over the omission of its logo on the ballot papers sent to the state. And this is noticed barely 24 hours before the presidential and national assembly election scheduled to hold on Saturday. And then the party state secretary actually reported this, saying that there's an omission of our party logo on the ballot brought by the INEC for the national assembly. Now, he said this is just for the national assembly. It doesn't cut across the well, presidency. Is that possible, though? It's even very disturbing news. Yeah. Because I, I heard mean, that this same thing also happened in some areas in Lagos. I'm not sure how true that is either. Mm. But how can this even happen? Now, this now, but what happened to who is in charge of quality control? How did it happen that they printed ballots paper missing a whole party's logo? I don't think that that was a mistake. I because I, bits, right? but I, don't, I don't think it was a mistake. <laughs> if you ask me, I do not because how do you make such a big mistake? That's mm. that's too much of a mistake to actually make. Sounds I, like I a sabotage. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that, that was a mistake. I don't think so. Anyway, 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 anyway. We'll, let's go into okay. Let's take a break. See you after the break. <laughs> 